This is Brooke Drum from printerbot.com and I wanted to show you the dual extruder also could be the triple extruder. And I'll show you how to hook it up and how it works. So we're using a, the first thing is the power. So the past um, printer bots, uh, this is the box for it right here. So this is a 350 watt. Um, these are ATX power supplies. Our past power supplies only had a four pin plug. And so the four pin plug looks like this and that would plug into the board. So if you were to plug that into the board, it would plug in like that. Now these larger power supplies, and you're welcome to supply your own ATX power supply, and they go up to like a thousand and beyond. Um, these are fairly cheap for us to purchase um, in bulk, so that's what we provide. Now the difference between this power supply and a power supply that would have been used in an early printer bot without the dual extruder is that it only had one of those four pin connectors, but look at what this has. I'm going to turn it off here, and I'm going to show you this is a special six pin plug. So this is all coming from the same power supply. There is a black one that's a four pin and you can see that it's offset there to the right when looking at it like that. And this blue one is a six pin. Now these both supply 12 volts. The black ones happen to be the negative and the uh, yellow ones happen to be the 12 volt rails. So these, both of these boards, the printer board and what we call the extruder board, run on 12 volts. If you only have a, a cheap, uh, low-watt ATX power supply running your current um, printer board, you won't even have the right plug. But if you do have a more powerful one that has more power available and has this six-pin plug, in my case, um, like in my case, you could power both the extruder board and the... Uh, the printer board with the same power supply. So um, now the reason I'm making such a big deal is if I were to force this into here, I could, and I would be uh, blowing up probably both my boards. You do not want to use anything but a six pin on this because it's weird. The, the voltage is, or the polarity plus and minus are reversed on this. So where you can see the yellows on the top here um, in this view, and the blacks on the top here. So you do not want to say, hey, this I can shove this in and pound it and it'll work. <laughs> you know? uh, no, you don't want to do that. This is very important. You plug the right thing into the right thing there, okay? Six pin on extruder board, four pin on the uh, printer board. So last thing with the power supply. Um, when you get a power supply, most people uh, get a little thing in their box. Um, but what happens is, it, this is an ATX power supply for a computer and usually this connects to the motherboard and it goes off to a power switch and everything but you know what we're using what's called a jumper which is just taking the place of a switch always being powered on or always having a connection so we're actually plugging one into the green here and another one into any of the black all of the black here go to the negative um, on the power supply so they all kind of meet in the middle here on the board so uh, this is allowing me to be able to do this turn it on and have the fan turn now some power supplies uh, if they're not hot yet if they don't have a lot of power drawn from them that fan may or may not be on it's not necessarily an indicator um, but I also heard I have my USB plugged into the computer here and I also heard that in Windows and that told me that the power supply is on. So that covers the power requirements for the extruder board and in the next video we're going to move on to how to plug in the motors and the thermistor but I wanted to make sure you understood the power is hooked up just like that for the printer board connected to the extruder board.